Hi guys, um, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Giants ACDC TIG 250 TIG. Um, if you guys like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and yeah, we'll get stuck into it. So with the ACDC TIG, um, obviously this is what you get in the box. Get this foot pedal down here. Um, honestly, the foot pedal, I was a little bit reluctant to use. Um, I personally would probably prefer the, the finger trigger. The torch that comes with it, you know, has the finger trigger. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm using the, 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 the foot pedal at the moment. The foot pedal is only a on-off switch. It's not a regulated um, foot pedal. So in that aspect, it sort of sucks. Um, I was sort of hoping that it was a regulative foot pedal, but it does the job. So obviously decent sized earth lead that comes with it. Very short. I must admit, it's a short earth lead, but the um, the gun, the TIG torch lead is stupidly long compared to what the, the earth clamp is. So I don't really understand that. Obviously you could probably extend it, um, probably recommend it, but that's essentially pretty much all that the um the kit comes with you do need to purchase a regulator obviously you need to purchase your own gas bottle you need to purchase your own filler rods your own tungsten set i personally recommend getting the unimic tig starter kit it um has pretty much everything that you sort of need to learn with um, I brought that for about 140 bucks from Gas World, uh, from Sydney Tools actually. Same thing with the regulator. I think it was about 75 or 90 dollars. Um, obviously, you can have your mild steel, your stainless, and your aluminium filler rods. Um, just depends on obviously what you're going to be using. If you're obviously learning, I highly recommend using. The DC setting for mild steel first, it actually is quite easy. You just got to remember your earth goes into the negative, positive goes into your torch. When you're using for mild steel only on DC, um, if you're changing to AC, you need to switch it back to the earth in the positive and the positive are uh, the negative for the, um, the torch. Otherwise, yeah, turns in the shit. That's obviously a bit of stain, uh, mild steel exhaust pipe. I'm learning. Obviously, it's a it's an entry level kit for seven hundred dollars or whatever the kit cost me. Plus, obviously, your consumables. So, I think all in all, you're probably looking around about thousand um, dollars to have everything that you need to get start start TIG welding. But I've just whipped up this little you know, tungsten holder, um, just out of mild steel. It's great practice. I highly recommend getting uh, some some practice on the TIG. Obviously, anyone can use a MIG welder, but TIG, obviously, everyone wants to be able to lay those dimes. So I'll insert a little um, little clip here. Now, obviously, it's heaps easier to look on Google and stuff like that for what's, what amperage you need for what size um, mild steel or aluminum that you're welding. Um, I generally just keep it between 90 and 135 amps, depending on what I'm welding. Obviously, thinner, thinner the metal, obviously, less amperage you want. But that all comes with a feel of what the machine's doing. Also regulator, sit it around between 10 and 15 CFH. Um, 
seems to be fine for me. If you are just someone in, in your backyard like I am, if you do have a wooden bench, I do recommend just going to Bunnings or something and just grabbing a little little sheet of flat steel um, that obviously just prevents you from burning the crap out of your bench and obviously gives you a decent size earth clamp. Um, but other than that guys, I highly recommend the machine. Definitely works really well and yeah. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and yeah, get stuck into this TIG welding.